Gran, I want to learn magic, please. This again, child. You know full well your father has forbidden it. There are plenty of things more deserving of your interest. Why not turn your aspirations elsewhere? Why must you always take father's side? I'd have thought you'd understand how I feel better than anyone. What is it? If you're looking for Gran, she's out. It is dreadful dull round here. How long do they mean to shut me away? All I want is to study magic, but Gran refuses to teach me. If only I had a grimoire or two, then I could study on my own. If you find any grimoires, would you bring them to me? You needn't seek them out. Any you happen to find will do. Still, I'll write up a list of the tomes I'd most like, so you know which ones to keep an eye out for. Let's see, um, there, all done. Mayhap I was a little over eager, but you needn't bring them all. Just two or three would be swell, though I would be thrilled to have the lot. <laughs> oh, and Gran is like to confiscate the grimoires should she espy them. Pray hand them to me when she's not at home. So, we are to scowl for the grimoires on Miss Trisha's list. Cave. Shall we proceed into the depths? What well, I wouldn't give for a map, particularly. The only one that could tell us where all the treasure lies. By your leave. I shall heal you at once. Hold it, please. Lightning is ineffective. Met. Fulminous shield, eh? Tis a bargain, I reckon. I picked it up in Melv after the dragon attacked. Can't speak for its contents, but it certainly looks valuable. Hope to see you again.
thing. And have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? I, this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I'll gather these now. Twould be a shame to forget their location when we need them. Most. I shall take this opportunity to observe our surroundings. Oh, on the hunt for the grimoire entitled Towering Earth, are you? One moment. Here it is. Towering Earth, the Forsaken Text. Ah, uh, you may take it. I can cast no magics myself, after all. Left in my care, tis as a pearl before swine. Not to mention, I've already read it. I don't believe I had any visitors today. My interest is piqued. Very well. You may enter. of indecorum. Now then, what business have you with me? Could it be you have come to learn of my magic, hmm? I wonder how you shall fare. Well, if you think me a liar, then buy some. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all. The creation of a masterpiece takes time, sir. Pray do not. Many thanks to you. With another errand that sent us somewhere near here? Perhaps we ought to go there first. What say you, Arisen? Welcome. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see that the item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use it well. Many thanks to you. me 
to thinking in this place. Shh! Save all that grimoire business. brought me a grimoire, sir. Thank you for all the grimoires, sir. Is that the last of them you'll be bringing? Then you have my gratitude for all you've done. Would that I had a reward for you. But I'm afraid I've little gold of my own. Oh, mayhap this will suffice. Tis a ring my father gave me. Tis only fitting, really, given he was the one who forbade my studies in the first place. Go on. Tis no cheap trinket. Now, I'd best take my leave of you. I've my studies to attend to. Miss Trisha was positively thrilled to receive those grimoires. May her studies prove fruitful. long We managed to avoid the worst by some miracle. I am grateful for your aid. You must come visit us again, once she has recovered. T'was a near thing, but Miss Trisha is saved. Let us look in on her again in the coming days to see how she fares. Our adventure continues. Should seem I've you to thank for saving me as well as Gran. Who could have suspected things would happen as they did? Twas as though my very self was about to vanish. Gran said twas because the magic within me is many times greater than tis within other people. She's going to teach me how to control my magic so it won't happen again. I can hardly wait. Oh, that reminds me. Keep this a secret from Gran. But when my magic was all out of control, I learned a sort of technique. I'll need to study hard if I'm to try it without exploding again. Learning to shackle such immense power seems a monumental time. This might surprise you, but I've already mastered a variety of magics. And since you've been so kind to me, I'd like to teach you a special one. Are you keen? Hello again. Always sets me to thinking. Hmm? I have things to do if you don't mind. Ah, you've come. My thanks again for your aid in saving Trisha's life. Now, I have a question for you, and I beg you to answer it honestly. Twas you who helped Trisha acquire a grimoire, was it not? I shan't condemn you for it. You couldn't have known the dangers to pose, and nor could Trisha. The fault lies with me for my reticence. You see, a similar deluge of magic to the one you witnessed consumed Trisha's mother. 
and she perished. Her father feared the same fate would befall his daughter, and bade me to keep her from dabbling in magic. But now that Trisha has awoken to the wellspring within her, I will need to teach her to control it. She will have her wish after all. Now that Trisha has awoken to the wellspring within her, this place. back again, are you? Make yourself at home. I was hoping I could beg a favor of you, sir. You have my gratitude. You have my gratitude. This is for you, as a token of my gratitude. You've been good to me, to us. I'd wager it is about time I showed my gratitude. I mean to teach you one of my techniques. I've every faith you'll use it wisely. Take this with my blessing. Uh -huh. 